as the second hospital in Kenya and the first public hospital to have this service. We are lucky that this procedure is in Kenyatta National Hospital. I think it's the first public hospital to have this procedure in Eastern Central Africa. Cryobiopsy is a technique that we use to biopsy. Biopsying is where you take a piece of uh, tissue where the pathologist looks and sees what is this that is causing the pathology in the lung. The old technology is using biopsy forceps. We usually take very small samples. With cryobiopsy, you're able to take much larger, bigger samples and the tissue is not distorted. So that helps the pathologist be able to make more definitive diagnosis with bigger specimens that are not crushed. Any interventional procedure for the lung is a multidisciplinary team effort. We have a nursing team that really worked behind the scenes to make sure that we have the cryobiopsy machine and everything, all the setup done in theatre. So for me, I was being trained on how to handle the equipment and how even to clean it and to sterilize it. So mine was to make sure that whatever was being used was well sterilized to prevent infection or counter infection. The benefits to the patient, one, the pathologist has a bigger sample, therefore definitive diagnosis, without requiring much more invasive procedures like surgery, where you have to open the patient up, which takes much longer uh, hospital stay. We can do for the patient, and the next day the patient is actually at home. And more importantly, cryobiopsy is used for foreign body removal. And this is very important for pediatrics and even in adults where we've seen some foreign body, you're able to go with cryobiopsy, freeze the metal piece or whatever they've swallowed and come out with it. This saves children from having surgery done on their small lungs. The other advantage of coming to Kenyatta, the pricing for this procedure will be favorable to the common one, aren't you?